Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So yeah, I cut my hair, um, just wanted to state the obvious there. But I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while, i um, just been dealing with some stuff going on in my life. But I have been getting a lot of questions on why I didn't include the Grandma Stola Rosea in my video of what I recommend for your first tarantula. And today I'll be going into why I don't recommend them as a first tarantula. So reason number one is they are very temperamental. You could have your rose hair being the sweetest as pie one second, and then next thing you know, they would want to bite your hand off. Um, the next thing is that they can go into a long fasting state. They can fast for up to six months to a year, um, and that can worry a lot of first-time tarantula owners. Oh, why is my spider not eating? Am I taking care of it right? It doesn't look like it's in pre-mold. They will fast for pretty much no reason whatsoever, even if they're not in pre-mold. Um, my one rose hair has went, I think eight months was the longest she's went without eating. And as a first-time tarantula owner, of course, that can get pretty scary. Um, so I also wanna show you a bit of their temperament because I do have so many rose hairs. Um, so I do want to show you the different temperaments and let you see, yes, some can be very nice and very docile, but then again, they can also be very sassy, very rude, and they can go from one end of the stick to the other very fast. So um, I'll get right into showing you that and then I'll come back at the end. So as you can see, I have four of my rosies out here that we're gonna test the temperamental theory with. I have two red colored forms and then one larger brown colored form and one small brown colored form or G. rosea and G. porteri if you follow the scientific names. All right, sorry the lighting's not as good from this angle, but the first, and also sorry for that stupid chirping. It's my fire alarm in the hallway of my building. It's really annoying. But first tarantula we're gonna test out is the small little G. porteri sling. And as you can see, she just kinda, she just moseys her way right on out. But I also want to point out that most slings are very easygoing and docile so it doesn't really matter what species they are all pretty docile so as you can see there is one of my juvies very docile very sweet not very skittish she's webbing all over me but just wanted to point out that she is pretty nice. I don't know, and my autofocus isn't as great, but very nice, very docile. As you can see, just put her in here, tap her little butt. She climbs right back on her cage, or right back on her pot and her hide, and just happy as ever. Now, I will get a nice close up of my next tease for you because they aren't going to be as nice. Alright, so hopefully you can see this pretty well. And as you can see, straight into a threat posture. No questions asked, wants to bite. Anything and everything that comes in her way. Not so nice. Very, very temperamental. You just touch her little toe and she comes right after you. So as you can see, Ginger is not as nice as little Hercules over here. She just has a big temper. All right, so next up we're going to test Scarlet's temperament. And again, as you can see, straight into threat posture and actually tried to bite the temperament stick. You can see her fangs there. Let's see if we can get her to let go. I will zoom in on that. You 
you can see her fangs coming out. Oh yeah. So Scarlet is extremely temperamental. And actually, you can see she even came out to get a drink while we tested her. Can't really see it through the webbing on the top of our cage, but even came out to get a drink while we tested Next her. Next up we have little Ruby. And again, straight into threat posture. And as you can tell, all of my adult G. Porteris and G. Roseas, all of my adult rose hairs are all extremely temperamental, go straight into a threat posture the second they're given the chance. I would test it with my big girl Athena, but she is actually hiding out in her log at the moment, so not able to test it with her. But just wanted to show you guys that all of my rose hairs do the same exact thing. And they were all nice when I bought them. I have handled every single one of them. They have all let me handle them, get them out, but obviously not anymore. All right, everybody, so there you go. There's some prime examples as to why I do not recommend rose hairs as your first time tarantula. I mean, they're very accessible, they're cheaper, they're not hard to come by, they're in almost every pet store in the United States, but they are not the greatest to get you started. They are a lot harder to keep track of when their eating schedule is because they will go into such a large fasting state. And obviously, as you can tell by what I just showed you, very extremely temperamental. There is no telling when they could just throw a threat posture, when they could use their fangs, which you also got to see in the video, and also when they're just gonna be sweet as pie and just crawl right out on your hand, which you saw with my juvenile named Hercules. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, if you guys have any other questions or if you guys would like to see something else in an upcoming video, go ahead and put that in the comments below. I'll take any suggestions um, and we'll see you next time. Bye.